Bronte in case you didn't already know and today I'm going to be doing this eye look it is sort of a very simple grungy eye look that anyone can achieve it's kind of simple basic if you do want that grungy look and it's always seemed a bit too difficult then this is a tutorial for you today I'm going to be focusing just on the eyes it's very simple and easy obviously my lashes are making it look extra dramatic but I'm loving the lashes I suppose you would definitely not normally use this kind of lip color for a grunge look but I was going for something different and whatever can do what I want so um, yeah I really like how this um, lip look turned out I would normally go for a dark lip but whatever if you wanted to make it more wearable and for everyday look and you're not really wanting to go full grunge all out first time maybe simplify it up with a bit of a nude lip just saying <laughs> and I am going to skip through my highlighting and contouring routine today because I did a specific tutorial on how to highlight and contour using the AC on tour kit by Astralis so if you want to see how I get my highlighting and contouring using the Astralis kit that I've been waiting forever to get my hands on head over to my channel and you'll find the first impressions review on that versus the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. So that is how I got my face. Today is totally focusing on the eyes with a little bit of lip action and obviously foundation and concealer as always. But if you want to see how I get this look, please keep watching. Thanks so much. Bye. To prime the face, I'm using my MAC Radiance Base Lumi Air and my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation NC37 today, spraying my Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush with MAC Fix Plus before applying this and blending it, as you can see, all over my face. Using the Coastal Sense Camouflage Palette and the lighter concealer shades, I am going to conceal under the brow bone just to give that great highlight. And then I am also going to blend it all in and then prep the rest of my eyes with a bit of a darker color to get an even skin tone for that perfect base. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in this light shade to set my eyes, I am just going to pat that over my eyes. And then using my Revealed 2 palette, by Coastal Scents, I'm going to use this brown shade in and above my crease as a transition color, blending it in with my Sigma blending brush in back and forth motions, as you can see, just so it can be really, really well blended. Then using the same Revealed 2 palette, I'm going to use this burgundy colour and this flat eyeshadow brush from Urban Decay and patting this over my entire moving eyelid, building up the colour and also blending it out. We really want it to be nice, bold and dark and then also follow the line where you put your crease colour and just really building it up as much as possible. Next, using the Stila Soul palette and the shimmery brown shade that I have in Peace, I'm going to use another flat brush to avoid fallout and apply this over my entire eyelid and just bring it out and follow the rest of the eyeshadow line. I am also going to definitely blend that in, of course, we don't want anything too harsh, it sort of needs to be more of a smouldering natural look, so just blending it in and blending it out. Using one of my favourites, Maybelline Big Eyes Liner I, in white, I am going to highlight under the brow bone and then blend using the same Soul palette and using the shades Kitten and Light just to blend that in and really highlight. What I like most about this look is that you can use any colours from any palette as long as they have the ready brown tinge and then you have your grunge look. You don't need to use the colours from this palette, they're just sort of what I like to use. Anyways, back to the look, I am going to use this flat brush and the same kitten colour just over the inner corners of my eye and slightly over the top of the brown colour just to add a bit of a shimmer and make it a bit more light and bright. Then using the Revealed 2 palette and the same Maroni Burgundy colour, I am going to apply that to the lower lash line using this flat brush. Then I'm going to use the same brown colour and the smudge brush from Sigma to blend it all in and just make it really look extra smoky. Back 
back using my Maybelline Big Eyes liner to line my lower waterline today. I am going to really build up this strong black colour for that extra smoky look. Then using the Essence Black Eye Pencil that I have to line my lower lash line, building that colour up and then I am going to smudge it in with my Sigma Smudging Brush as well. For lashes today, I am going to use the very luscious, amazing Social Eyes in Ravishing. They make it look so dramatic and so perfect for this look. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Fair under the eyes as usual, just to give a bit of a highlight on the nose and on my forehead. And I am going to be blending with this very dirty but very damp blending sponge from Kit and just blending that all out and also using my fingers as well just to really emulsify the um, colours. For lips today, I am going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lips in Lovely. It's the perfect pink tone if you don't want to be too grunge and too OTT. It really is amazing and I love this long lasting colour and it matches my nails. I don't even know how that happened. As I mentioned at the start of my video, I am skipping the rest of my highlighting and contouring. So head to my channel if you would like to see my review on the AC On Tour palette as you can see using the highlighting and contouring. For cheeks I'm using my new Romance Mineral Blush from MAC, one of my favourites. It's a great peachy pinky colour and perfect for this look. And for lip gloss wearing Dior Lip Plumper and spraying my face with MAC Fix Plus to finish off. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. As usual guys, I will see you all next time. Bye!